Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do a review about the layering cover cushion from Laneige. This is their latest cushion and I got a lot of requests to do a review about this, although it's a little bit late. I hope you guys will enjoy the video and find the review helpful. First, I would say the design is really pretty, it's clean and it looks expensive. It's made of metal and the color is attractive, unfortunately it does not come with a refill. What makes it different than the other cushions is they have two cushion pads. This side is thicker in coverage and the bigger one is slightly more sheer and less thick. I love the design of the cushion pad. The pointy part makes it easier to reach the areas that's difficult to reach without smudging all over the place. The finish is matte and the coverage is definitely higher than layering. It's pretty buildable and I suggest you to apply it little by little. Try not to apply too much at one go or else it will end up looking cakey. And I like how the cushion pad does not absorb my foundation and it applies smoothly. Also I like how it has slightly cooling and moisturizing effect when I apply it on the skin. It feels very lightweight when applying, I don't feel like I'm applying anything to my face which is a plus point, but the coverage power is considered light, with 2-3 to three layers can be built up to a medium coverage. It managed to cover my uneven skin tone and pores pretty well, and it even out the skin texture that makes my skin look smoother, however the cover for the blemishes is not as satisfying. It may look like it's not very visible in the video, but in reality, even after 2-3 to three layers, the blemishes are still quite visible. And by applying two sides together, the result is a semi matte with a dewy finish. I don't think applying powder is necessary after this cushion. It blends easily and I like how smooth my skin looks once it settles down on the skin. Despite it not being able to move easily, it requires touch up every few hours. However, I think the oil control is quite poor. After a few hours, I notice some parts of my T-zone start to get oily. Despite my foundation being applied there, it's very obvious that the area started to get oily, so I think this might not be suitable for oily skin types, especially for people that live in a warm climate. So that's all for today, I hope you guys enjoyed the short review, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video.